Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're diving deep into the integral role of notaries in the realm of reverse mortgage signings. So if you're ready, I'm ready, let's go. Guys, before we get into this topic, I wanna say I just came off of COVID. My voice is kind of a little sore, but I'm going to try to get through and share this information with you the best that I can. So let's first talk about what reverse mortgages are. You might not have ever heard about them before, and you might have heard about them years ago and heard they were terrible, horrible things. We've come a long way, and they can actually be a helpful resource for certain people. So let's just talk about it a little bit. So reverse mortgages are a special type of financial instrument um, allowing homeowners who are generally 62 years or older to transform a portion of their home's equity into cash. In this unique arrangement, the lender is the one who pays the homeowner. So basically the equity of the house gets turned into a liquidable. And there are other things that go into this, like who owns the home during this process, who gets the home when the signers pass. There's a lot that goes into this that I'm not going to cover today, but I want to cover your role in the signing. So where do you fit in in this equation? Given the importance of the in the complexity of the reverse mortgages, um, every step of this needs to be validated, not necessarily notarized, validated. So you'll be hired for a couple different reasons. One of them is to help signers walk through the complete reverse mortgage application. This won't require, require a notary stamp. You're being hired because you have the experience with loan signings and you can move through a package, a large package with confidence and ease. At the application stage, you as a notary will very often be required to help the signer pull together all of the required documents the lender needs. So you'll be pulling together and scanning at the table documents like homeowner's insurance, social security award letters, and a variety of other documents. Don't worry about what these are because the, the lender will list them for you and for the signer. And sometimes your signers have their act together, but sometimes they don't. And that would make those application appointments, they can tend to be long. So make sure you're getting paid for your time because if the signer doesn't have all their stuff together, you could be at that table for an hour to two hours, maybe even more. The other reason you'll be hired is to walk through the reverse mortgage loan signing process in which you will have to use your stamp. Like other loan signings, you will see similar documents, but unlike normal loan signings, you may see documents that you don't recognize. When it comes to reverse mortgage signings, you as a notary perform, perform several critical functions. Number one is, and what we always do is identification. You ensure the signers are genuinely, genuinely who they claim to be. Number two is willingness. You're confirming the signers are acting of their own free will and aren't under duress. Nobody is forcing them to do this. And number three, Understanding, Val validating that the signers grasp the intricacies and consequences of the reverse mortgage. You're not going to sit there and say, are you sure you want to do this? But as a notary we, notary, we have the responsibility of really paying attention to the situation. And if your signers are him hawing are confused, are um, unsure what this whole thing is, it's our responsibility to protect them. And so identifying, yes, their willingness, yes, and understanding what they're getting into, yes, but also protecting them if they don't wanna do this. You can stop assigning where it is because of that. So your role in this is important and that's the reason that people are hired, notaries are hired for reverse, mor um, reverse mortgage signings. The world of reverse mortgages is loaded with paperwork from loan applications and counseling forms to in-depth disclosures. Each of these documents doesn't just need a signature. 
They require the oversight and validation that only we as notaries can provide. But remember, notarial processes and stipulations can differ by state. Some regions might even necessitate that an attorney is present during the signings. So where you are can make a difference in who's at that table and how this process goes. And that is research you'll need to do for your state. But I have help for you guys, <laughs> sorry. To sum up the role of a notary in reverse mortgage signing is pivotal, right? It's not just about witnessing a signature, it's about instilling confidence, ensuring legality and guaranteeing a smooth, transparent process for all parties involved. To help you with that, like I said, I'd encourage you to seek out reverse mortgage training. The best I have ever seen is Dinah Penny's reverse mortgage certification course. You can access that course in two ways. You can subscribe to her course for 297 a month and I will vouch for this course in telling you it is 100% worth it. But the other way you can take this course and for much less like free, is by joining the NBB, Notary Business Builders. You can join NBB for $58 a month and get Nine of Penny's course included as well as five other major notary focused courses that can train you to be an expert notary in your state, to be the most successful loan signing agent around, to have your Google business presence pop off and get your phone ringing nonstop. And you can learn how to be an apostle facilitator. Those courses are included as well. It's really worth checking out today. Links to Nina Penny's course and NVB will be in the description. Remember the invaluable peace of mind that a notary brings to the table whenever signers are embarking on a journey of reverse mortgage, reverse mortgage or any significant financial undertaking for that matter. We are peace of mind. Very often we are a lot of things, but we are peace of mind. So I hope this video, week's video has opened your eyes to another amazing opportunity for you to diversify your loan signing business and in turn, expand your income and expertise as a notary public. If you like today's content, please hit that like button. And if you want more notary and notary business information, I encourage you to subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss a video. I upload weekly and I would love it if you would join this small but growing family. Until next week, diversify and grow your notary business today. See you later.